Alrighty guys, so this week I wanted to add another video uh, to create a series of things I wish I had known when I was first diagnosed autistic, um, inspired by the Twitter thread talking about uh, things autistic people wish they had known when they were first uh, discovered they were autistic. Uh, and so. I did a video, uh, my first video, Things I Wish I Would Have Known, was about uh, sensory differences and how much of an impact sensory processing had on my life. Uh, and I will link that video somewhere, maybe, floating box here. Um, so <laughs> I've never done that before, we'll see how it works. Uh, and so I, I did that video and uh, people had a pretty good response to it, so I thought I would continue in this series. Uh, and so something I wish I knew, but it only has come through kind of rediscovering myself uh, since being diagnosed, is how important um, movement and just stimming is to my life. Uh, and so, you know, if you don't know what stimming is, um, autistic people, many of us are very stimmy people. Uh, and for me, you know, that can be, uh, it's just my natural ebb and flow of energy, it just regulates through movement, if that makes sense. So, you know, I talk with my hands. When I'm excited, my hands, like, do all kinds of wild things. It's, it's just automatic. It's not even something I can control. Uh, it's just how my body regulates my energy. Uh, you know, rocking back and forth is another one that I do very regularly. I'm always in motion or you know if I'm not in motion sometimes and I can I will like hold on to myself and put pressure on myself I crap I clasp my hands a lot um, some things that are a little bit more destructive is you know if I'm trying to be really still and I'm trying really hard to focus um, it's hard for me to do that while I'm being still so then like I might turn to something that's more destructive like chewing and biting the inside of my mouth until it bleeds and the inside of and and clenching my jaws really tightly until like everything hurts um those are things I do uh when I'm trying to restrain myself from my nat natural body movements that my body wants to do it becomes very destructive um because I it's like subconsciously, you know, when I stop the movements, my body starts doing something to compensate and I don't even know always what's happening until I start to feel discomfort. Uh, so, you know, movement is very essential to me. Um, and so, you know, stimming can often be like all of these subconscious movements that I'm not even aware of and that are automatic and instant like rocking and and flapping and uh you know um bouncing and walking on my toes and just you know jumping up and down all those things that are you know almost instantaneous expressions of energy Poof! um but there can also be you know stimming that is much more uh, intentional you know it's intentionally stimming because I know that stimulating my senses uh, helps me to regulate myself. Uh, an example of that is like, you know, like, I know I need to regulate my energy and my body regulates automatically through stimming, but I can do other things, you know, to stimulate myself and wear myself out. Um, and so, you know, uh, for me, one that what people wouldn't think of, I think, and you know, let me know if you think this counts, because maybe you don't think it counts, but for me, I think it counts. It would be like yoga um, and doing the same exact sequences over and over again, the same, you know, few poses that I had memorized. And sometimes I do freestyle, but it's like when I'm doing, you know, like just one little sequence and I'm doing the same sequence over and over again, um, and I'm completely lost in it and the outside world is gone and doesn't exist anymore. I am just only in my body and all the sensations in my body and the rest of the world disappears. Um, and so I feel like that's stimming, but that's a different kind of stimming because it's like a forced stimming that's really, really intentional and very good for me. Um, 
so you know just the importance i guess that to sum that up the what i would want to pass on to my newly diagnosed self uh would just be the importance of movement and letting my body move and actively seeking out movement going for walks going for swims going and just doing moving around and just how important that is for me to just move and not be still. Uh, so that, that's, those are my thoughts. That's the second thing. And maybe now I may, maybe should have been the first thing, but that's, that's the second video in my series talking about, you know, things I wish I had known when I first discovered I was autistic. Um, let me know in the comments below, you know, what things, what bits of informi information, advice would you love to go back and give your newly diagnosed or newly discovered autistic self uh, in the comments? Let me know. If you found this video helpful, um, go ahead and give it a thumbs up so I know we can do more in this series in the future. And if you think someone else might find this helpful, hit share. Uh, and then I put out new videos every Wednesday. I will see you guys next week. Bye. <laughs>